How is your day going so far? Whether you just woke up or whether you've been at it for a while, I want to ask you to stop and pause for a moment and kind of do a self-assessment, do a self-check. Have you been walking with your mind aligned with the truth of God today? Is that an ambition you even have in your life? That's what the Morning Mindset is here for. So I hope these next five or six minutes help you to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. I want to thank some people who have recently become partners with us here on the Morning Mindset. These are people who have financially partnered with us to enable us to keep getting the Morning Mindset out day after day after day. I want to thank Rachel. I want to thank Blessing. I want to thank Christy and Dustin and Darlene and Anne and Elizabeth and Sandra and Juan Lu. These are all people who have come on as partners recently. And I would encourage you to check out our partnership as well. If you would like to help us get the morning mindset out, you can do that by going to carrygreen.com and you'll see partnership options there on the very front page. All right, let's get into our morning mindset content for today. We're in the book of Proverbs still, chapter 17. We're going to be looking at some things that wise people do. Now, I think all of us would say that we want to be wise. We want wisdom to be a characteristic of us. When people think of us, they think, oh, that's a wise woman. That's a wise man. So let's look and let's see what Proverbs says wise people do. Verse 10 says, A rebuke goes deeper into a man of understanding than a hundred blows into a fool. So a rebuke, a correction, someone pointing out that you've done something wrong or hurtful or incorrect or dishonoring to God. How do you handle those things? Do you receive those with humility and really consider what's being said? Perhaps it's true. Maybe you should evaluate yourself. Or do you immediately get defensive and bristle? under that kind of a comment about your life. It says a rebuke goes deeply into a man of understanding. You see, a rebuke is seen as a benefit by a wise person. A rebuke is a loving action given to that person to help them grow to a place of greater maturity and greater wisdom. You see, the wise perspective does not see a rebuke as a threat but it sees the rebuke as a blessing and a gift. Let's look at verse 24. It says, The discerning sets his face toward wisdom, but the eyes of the fool are on the ends of the earth. Now, this is a very interesting contrast. First off, he's contrasting wise people and foolish people, but he's, he's making an interesting point as he does so. He says, Where your eyes are set, what you're looking toward, what your goal is, really matters. And it determines whether you're wise or foolish. So here he says the discerning, which is another word for the wise person, sets his face toward wisdom. So his goal is to become more wise, to live his life in a wise manner. But the foolish person sets his eyes on the ends of the earth. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean he's looking off to Japan or or Korea or somewhere far away from where he lives? No, no. What it means is he's looking way out in the distance, maybe dreaming, anticipating, hoping for something way out there in the future, but he's not paying much attention to his life right now. And he's not looking for wisdom to help him walk in steps that will bring integrity and value and courage and and godliness into his life right now. You see, when we're looking too far off into the distant future, We're not concerned about the things of the present. And we often continue making mistakes that cause us to become more and more of a fool. But the contrast, which is what we're most interested in, is that those who are discerning set their face toward wisdom. The idea is they are seeking wisdom. They're trying to learn all they can about wisdom. They're wanting to characterize themselves by this attitude that we call wisdom, which means They look at situations through God's perspective. They apply God's truth to the things that are happening in their life and around their life so that they can understand what to do and how to live and how to speak and how to be a blessing to others and how to interact with those they come across. You see, wise people do these things. They receive rebukes as blessings and they set their face toward wisdom. 
Jesus, help us today to set our faces toward wisdom, to be people who are just so eager to understand how you think about things and to adopt that mindset and adapt our lives to follow it. Jesus, your Holy Spirit can do this in us, and we ask you to do it. We in faith trust you to do it, and we ask you to give us the practical steps we need to take day in and day out to make it a reality in our lives. Jesus, do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.